Hey, awesome peacock. Here is another awesome video for your leisure, right? So what's another day go by that we don't have homework? That wouldn't be like peacock now, would it? So let's start out the day with my um, awesome joke. Here we go. Why should you never tell a secret on a cornfield? Why should you never tell a secret on a cornfield? Because there are too many ears. Uh -huh, get it? <laughs> I love these silly jokes. I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes right now, but I can't help it. All right, here we go. Example five, established each identity. That means we're going back to, to proofs, okay? So, but before I start writing the proofs, let's write out all of the identities, identities that we know already. Identities that we already know. Let's start with the basic, right? Cosine square of theta plus sine square of theta equals one. Okay, so we'll bubble this up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Then keep in mind that we can divide each and everything by cosine squared. So 1 plus tangent square of theta equals, if I divide 1 by cosine squared, that's 1 over cosine squared. So that's really secant square of theta. Then I can do the same thing by dividing each and everything by sine squared. So that's really cotangent square of theta plus 1 equals 1 over sine squared is now cosecant square of theta. So that's old, right? We still need to know it. Now the new one, the sum and difference, is cosine of alpha plus beta equals cosine of alpha times cosine of beta. Um, hmm. I need more space, so let me erase this. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, all right. So in cosine, we switch. Okay, so now it's sine of alpha times sine of beta okay well i also have what subtraction as well so instead of writing it over i'm just going to go in and subtract well now in subtraction of cosine we now have an addition in the identity okay we also have sine don't we so sine of alpha plus beta is sine of alpha cosine of beta oops I need to erase i need more space okay so and now in sine, we're going to keep it the same, okay? So sine of alpha cosine of beta times cosine of alpha times sine of beta. Now, what if I want sine of alpha minus beta? Then I'm just going to minus the identity. Then, of course, we have tangent, okay? So tangent of alpha plus beta equals, now tangent is going to be, addition on the top if it's a sum of tangent okay and then divided by so let me erase some more looks like i'm always in needing of space okay so now i'm gonna have a one because it's already added on the top this is minus tangent of alpha times tangent of beta so keep that in mind well of course i have subtraction right this is the difference of tangent if that's the difference this is the difference here on the top and this is an addition on the bottom so those are all of the identities that we now have, okay? So let's start with our letter A. Cosine of pi over 2 plus theta equals negative sine of theta. Remember, the guidelines for uh, writing proofs are still the same. You're going to pick the side that looks scary, right? In this case, this is cosine of pi over 2 plus theta. This has a lot more things going on. And this is your goal right here, okay? My goal is to change that somehow to um, negative sine of theta. Well, this is, think of this as alpha plus theta. So I'm going to use that. So that's really cosine of alpha plus theta, which is by identity, cosine of alpha, cosine of beta minus sine of alpha and sine of beta because that's the identity that I'm about to use. Then step three, I'm instead of alpha and beta, I really have pi over two n and theta. Okay, so now 
that means I'm going to use this right here and substitute that with this is now, they, this is no longer alpha, but it's pi over 2. So that's cosine of pi over 2. Then this right here is cosine of theta. Cosine of theta. Take away. Now alpha is really pi over 2. So sine of pi over 2. Okay. Beta is really theta. And then that's what I'm doing. Okay. Then step number four. Now, cosine of pi over 2, let's recap a little bit. Okay, if you remember, cosine of pi over 2 is right here. Cosine is going to be what? Zero. And yes, you write it down. You don't assume that I know anything about trig. Minus. Sine of pi over 2 is, same spot, right? So sine of pi over 2 is 1. Yes, you write the 1. Okay. Then our very next step, well, 0 times anything is 0. Okay. Then... If that's zero, what's left over? If that's zero, I just have negative one times sine is negative sine of theta. And that is my goal. You give me your initial to tell me that, you know what, teacher, I'm done. I got this, okay? And then that's how we write the proofs. Now, writing proofs in 7.5 is much, much easier just because all that is is just using the identity, okay? Let's do bay. I'm going to use a different ink here so that way it doesn't kind of go crazy with my um, identities in the middle. Okay. B. Again, I'm going to pick tangent of 2 pi minus theta because that looks scarier. And look at the goal. I want to get to negative tangent. Okay. Now, this is what I don't want you to do ever. Please don't do this. I would cry. Okay. Tangent of 2 pi minus tangent of theta. Okay. That's not okay. I will cry. Okay. All right. So, but now that you have this, I will now use an identity. Are you ready? Can I use tangent of alpha minus beta? Okay. So the identity says here, look, I already have it written for you. Ooh. So from here, I will use my identity. Here we go. Tangent of alpha minus tangent of beta all over 1 plus tangent of alpha times tangent of beta. Okay. Well, this is really alpha and this is really beta. So I'm just going to plug it in. So here we go. Step 3. Alpha is really 2, th two pi. So tangent 2 pi. Minus beta is really theta all over 1 plus tangent of 2 pi times tangent of theta okay well let's find out where 2 pi is okay 2 pi is 2 right there okay tangent and that location is 1 comma 0 tangent is y divided by x so if you think about it is really 0 divided by 1 so tangent of 2 pi is 0 that's right. Okay, so step four, zero minus tangent of theta divided by one plus, yes, you write all of this out again. All right, so here we are, okay? Well, would you agree? Oops, I'm sorry, this is meant to say zero. All right, well, would you agree that zero times anything is zero? So now, step 5, 0 minus tangent is negative tangent of theta divided by 1. So that means step 6 is really negative tangent of theta. And do my happy dance. Okay. So as you can see, if you know the identities, then writing proofs in 7.5, it's really a piece of pi. Ha ha. Pi, get it? Okay. All right. So this is the end of my video notes for this one.